Hi guys, I'm Script or Blogs. Welcome back to another video. And in this video, I will be showing you guys how you can make a pool with a small obby and rising lava. Because you may want to make a game where there is rising lava and the obby. So let's begin by adding a part. This part will be our lava. So we can make it any material and any color and go now to the toolbox and instead of by model you can click on images instead and then search for lava then if you found a suitable lava like this one then you can expand your part like this no I just, i'm just gonna take a different lava okay this one is good and now what we are gonna do is we will make it be pretty long to the bottom now we'll, we will be anchoring it and turning candle light bolts Now, if it's about like this in the floor, we can add in another part. And if we can't really find it, we can press F. Now we can position it closely to the wall. We can make it flat, stretch it across to the other side. And now make it higher. And then you can put the material to something like slate and the color something dark gray. Then what we can do is duplicate it by pressing Ctrl or Command D. Then we can scale it down and on the other side stretch it again across and here again do it like this. And now we can just select the other side again duplicate it and for 180 degrees like this we have our lava pool oh no i'm just gonna make the whole thing a bit higher and then we want to have our obby oh no i'm just gonna put the things that they don't cast any shadows because then it's easier to see so for making the obby i will add in a part and try to position it roughly in the middle of the whole thing now we can scale this part up this will be like the inner thing around that the obby will be wrapped so when uh, you're done scaling it like this you can scale it up till it's about till where you'd say the lava will stop rising and then you can actually take it and the walls and anchor the whole thing and then you can again select it duplicate it from the bottom scale it up and make it to like a winner zone for those who manage the obby so now we want to make that here we will be ending the obby so let's add in a part and we can make it kind of a different material so it's easier to see which one it is so why don't i'm just gonna put off cast shadows on all of them so i'm just gonna make it brick and something like teal and then i'm gonna put it here from where you can jump onto the winners so I'm just gonna make a small jumping obby, but you can add in trusses and lava jumps and truss jumps and climbing stuff. I'm just gonna have it by a simple jumping one. Now you can just um, make your obby till to the top. Start at the top and work your way down. I'm just gonna skip to when I'm done. Okay, now I've made the whole jumps. So stop making more jumps about on this part, add in another part and position it about where you want the start to be and then 
made some space on one end and scale it about like this and yeah about like this but now let's just make it to a really black matte thing and make it slate so about here you will start and then you will climb up till you are up here because the lava will be rising and will then kill you as soon as you touch it so when we're here at model then click here on spawn and you should get the spawn location it should be somewhere take it and drag it down here and then scale it really far down Till it's about a good size and there where you want the players to spawn when they come and then make transparency to one be sure anchor is checked cantalot false and then at the explorer tab expand it and delete the detail now you won't at all see the spawn location now you can take the lava and let's just name it lava then we can add in two scripts one will be the damage script and one will be the rising script so name one of the scripts rising and name the other one damage then in the rising script you wanna write following code out local tween service equals to game colon get service open bracket speech marks tween service we're getting the tween service because we'll need it and then we'll just quickly wait about 10 seconds for the players to get ready and then when we did that we're gonna write tween service column create and then in these brackets we'll write first of all we'll need the part to tween then we need the tween info and then we need the changes so first of all the part to tween will be script apparent so we can now we already have the part to tween i'll just uncomment it the tween info will be tween info dot new and out before I do make the tween info, oh, we need to separate them with a comma. And before I do the tween info, I'm just gonna say changes needs to be written in need to be written in squiggly brackets. And we only want our lava to rise up. So actually, we need to find out how far we need it to rise up. We can measure that by adding in a part, finding it and then putting it down where the lava is and then we can scale it up to where the lava will max rise and then we can look at the size property and look for the y axis in my case that's 30 so now we can delete the parts go back into the rising script and say position because when well, no, pose because we already said it the part we're tweeting is script.parent so script the parent position it will see equals to script dot parent dot position because it won't work different for some reason plus vector tree dot new zero because we don't want any on the x axis but we want it to be 30 higher on the, the y axis comma zero because we as well don't want it on the z axis and now the tween info first of all we have the time 
then we have the easing stop ill then we have the easing direction then we have the how often it will repeat repeat count then we have if it repeats if it repeats and then we have the delay time so first of all the time how long it will take will be 20 seconds the easing style is a enum object so enum dot easing style oh no, style dot linear because linear is a easing style that doesn't bounce or something like that and we just want our lava to rise steady the easing direction i don't really know it so let's just do enum dot e Easing, oh no. easing direction dot in out because as I don't think it does anything bad dot in out it does actually not so and now repeat count uh, we don't want it to repeat all so we'll do just zero and then if it repeats we'll just do that false and then the delay time will be one so now this makes the whole lava to rise this is actually only our tweet so to play it we just do column play after these brackets column play brackets now in our damage script we want to select all of it with control or command a and then we want to write script the parent dot touch column connect function and we get argument hit that what touched it so now to check if it's actually something living that touched the lava we can do if hit dot parent column find first child open bracket speech marks um oh speech mark close in bracket then drop a line with this end add it in and then what we'll just do is hit dot parent dot Humanoid dot hell not health <coughs> minus equals to 100. So it will instead of writing equals to strip the parent dot hit the parent dot humanoid dot health minus 100, we just do minus equals to 100. So now the lava should be rising and damage you if you touch it. So actually. Let's just quickly make sure everything is entered and no shadows. Yeah, everything should be anchored. And candlelight should be only something. So now we can actually play the game. And I it will test the lava just when I came upstairs, but oops. What happened here? let's see do we we still have the lava let's actually just go onto the server and into the workspace and find our lava oh no uh, it seemed to have fallen down or something like that so let's just oh it's not anchored now let's actually play because now it should work oops seems like the lava jumps and stuff like that have uh, fallen into the water. I mean, into the lava. A moment, actually, all this is supposed to be anchored. Okay, now it didn't play. Okay, we quickly need to climb upstairs. 
before the lava catches us. Oops. Oops. I fell in. Well, as you see, you die from touching it. But if you... Oh, no. Oops. Yep. Now it's kind of impossible to win anymore because... Yeah. Somehow I spawned on here, but... Yeah. Um, hold on. I, I just want to see why that is because actually that should not be like that. Well, I mean, it works. And if you actually only want that the players get damaged and there are some NPCs that don't get killed by the lava, all you need to do is buy those NPCs. You just need to rename their humanoid to something else than humanoid because then it will work if you rename it to zombie we can actually check if he gets damaged so let's actually just put him on this platform and run the game let's just quickly grab his humanoid and go down to health so if he touches it he should damage but he does not so yeah this is how you can make a thing with rising lava and a obby to the top if you want it to be in rounds probably I will do in the future a tutorial on how you can make your round system if you want it with rounds you can just combine these two tutorials but for the start it just works if you just spawn there, it waits 10 seconds and then the lava rises. Bye! If you'd like this video then please just give it a thumbs up down below. And if you want to see more of my videos then just click the thumbnail that should be on your screen now. And if you as well want to support my work at no extra cost then just click on the thumbnail that should be right now in the middle of your screen.